Good morning class, happy Tuesday. Today's workout is going to be upper body. So after I explain what all the exercise is in, remember we are plugging in our headphones, plugging out the world and getting to work on our bodies and ourselves, okay? Make sure some important things to remember. Uh, perfect form always. So you gotta keep your core engaged, you gotta keep your glutes engaged to protect that lower back. Try to keep in sync with your breath, breathing through your nose. So in your nose, out your mouth right? Uh, when you are exerting the most energy is when you want to exhale. So on a squat, when you go down, you inhale. When you come up, you exhale. Uh, things we will need. We will need a weight. Uh, if you were doing Thursday's workout, I use the laundry detergent. You can use whatever you want. If you're doing this at a gym, obviously use the dumbbells. Uh, you can also use a bench. If you do not have a bench at home, then you can use a chair, your bed, or anything like that. You're just going to be needing it basically for, um, support. All right. So here are your exercises. The first chest exercise is you're going to need a bench or your support. You're also going to need your weight. Looks like this. So your shoulders are going to be on your chair, bed, couch, or bench like this. You have your weights in one hand. If I can get up. <laughs> So, abs are engaged, shoulders are down and back. Both hands are up, but only one hand has the weight in it. From here, you're going to bring the elbow all the way down further than the bench or the chair or any of that, and you're going to press it up. You have 10 each side. The idea is to keep the abs engaged the whole time while you're isolating the chest muscles, your pectorals, on one side. 10. As soon as you are done with that, you're going straight to the other side, keeping this arm and shoulder nice and strong to keep it balanced. So you still want to be in that plank position, right? Even though you are on the opposite of what a plank usually looks like. So 10 each side. As soon as you are done with that, your back exercise, you're going to be in a plank position or a modified plank, right? If it's a modified plank, you're on your knees, but you are also still in that plank, so glutes are still engaged. You are in a plank. You're going to row up, rotate at your hips, and then press up, right back down. Pop. Cool? So, row, twist, press, back down. You have 10 each side. If it's too difficult, kind of like how it was for me with the laundry detergent, you can use your support for it. Just make sure you're still nice and sturdy. You're bringing it up, twist, press. Cool? If you're using a dumbbell, it's a lot easier to do it on the floor. But this is also a nice um, little modification for those who have trouble doing a full plank. Okay? So that is your first chest. That is your first back. Your cardio exercise. We have eight counts of high knees. You're only counting one. One, two, three, all the way to eight. Right into butt kickers for eight. For eight. And back to high knees. You have three rounds of high knees into butt kickers. For my challengers, if this is too easy, if you want to do sky highs instead of high knees, you can. Otherwise, high knees, butt kickers. If jumping is too hard for you, you're here. You're going quick. Okay, if it hurts your knees, if you have some injuries or any of that kind of stuff, you're there. So option A, B, or C. Second chest exercise. It is going to be a wide grip release push-up. Many of you talked about not liking push-ups because you don't have the strength to build it. So I'm going to help you do that. <laughs> what wide grip push-ups do is it builds up the little muscles in the chest to help you gain a stronger push-up, okay? If you're already used to doing push-ups and you can do a thousand, awesome, I still want you to do these. Just don't make it the release, okay? So option A is the release push-up. Your palms are gonna be facing out. So you want your, your body and your arms to be as far away as possible. My eyes a little slippery. So option A, you're here. You're going all the way down, having your chest hit the floor, and then you're gonna press all the way back up, okay? Wide grip push up for 10. Option B 
is you're just doing a regular push-up, but make sure you can do the full range of motion, okay? Check yourself in the mirror. Look at the angle of your arms, okay? Make sure your chest can just about touch the floor for a wide grip push-up. Because you're closer to the ground, you should be able to go further if you can do a full range push-up, all right? So, oh, second, so second back exercise is this. You don't need to wait for this. This is kind of a um, Pilates move. Slide down your knees, deep bend in the hips. Abs are gonna be engaged, so your black back should be nice and straight and flat. Your heart is still open, and your arms are out in front of you. Biceps should be by your ears. From here, you're going to stay in this nice, solid, weighted position. Your legs are holding your weight. Your abs are controlling your, uh, your balance so that your lower back can rest. You are here. All I want you to do is pulse your arms up, thumbs facing up. You have 20 pulses right here. Try to get the biceps behind the ears. You have 20, just like that, okay? Second cardio exercise. You're gonna start with your feet together. You're gonna drop it down, up. Whoa, hold on. <laughs> this one always freaks me out a little bit. Down, so tapping the opposite hand, up, step, back. It'll take a couple seconds, like it just should be, but it's okay. So step, little hop. If it's confusing, start with your feet together, bring it into a side lunge, tap that opposite foot, and then from here, hop it up and switch to the other side. Cool? You have 20, just like that. Bicep. You're going to hold one weight, right? Bicep curl, two press, and right back down. You have 15 each side. If you are in a gym and you're working with heavier weights, do 12, cool? Otherwise, if it's a lighter weight, do 15, okay? And for my triceps, we're gonna have our handy dandy little chair. We're going to be in a tricep dip position. So, you can either bend your knees, so you're here, dropping the glutes, make sure your elbows bend at 90 degrees, and pressing up, straight up, Squeezing the triceps at the top. Right here, you have 15. Option B is to keep your legs straight. And then option C is to elevate your legs using another object. Do at least three rounds. If you can get five rounds in, awesome. All right, make sure you warm up. Make sure we stretch at the end. It's muy, muy importante to keep your body nice and restful and recovered as well, okay? Thank you guys. I will see you on Thursday for our workout and Make sure you do the homework. It's very important. All right. Bye, guys.